And Cardboard Caucus is meeting this weekend for their board game convention. Organizers saying they hope the event brings people together through board games. Hi everybody, I'm Starla. I'm Mick. And we are Our Family, Family Plays Games. Games. Yeah! <laughs> and welcome back to another week. Another fast week. Yes, and we fast are week. in the month of November. So soon! It hasn't been soon. We went through summer. Yeah. You know, you know, you just told me about, you know, like when this uh, program showed all the newscasters yeah. and all the news places mm -hmm. saying, November's here. They were all saying the same it, thing. November's oh, already I can't, here. I can't believe it's November 1st. Well, we're going to be there too. <laughs> it's already here. I can't believe it's November it's 1st. It's here. You know, that's yeah. what they were saying. Because everybody did it on November 1st. Yes. Saying, I can't believe it's November 1st. It, it's already November. I mean, it's almost time <laughs> for oh, my God. favorite mm -hmm. time of the year. My Hallmark Christmas movies. Oh, jeez. My Hallmark Christmas movies, family. <laughs> it's time. They've already started, unfortunately. Yes, it's time. I mean, they used to wait to after Thanksgiving. No, we must have our celebrations, a little cry. We got to have a little cry, a little cry oh my God. about, you know, the happiness of love. Well, you know, they let uh, Mariah Carey out of ice. She's yes, already broken she, out of they ice. They have broke her out so, of ice. She's out of ice. She's going to take Singing over Christmas. Singing already. Yeah, she's going to take over. She's ready. All I want for Christmas. Yes, all I want is Christmas <laughs> is, is you. you. Yes, she is red tape. <laughs> and that's scary. that's scary that she only comes out for Christmas. Well, she hasn't had any big hits lately. No. But that song. That song. It takes over woo! Christmas. It takes over. <laughs> you know, they got to bust her out of her hibernation yes. just for that. <laughs> yeah, she comes out with, all I want for Christmas is you. Yes, y'all. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, that's some good I stuff there. I song. love that too. <laughs> I love it. All right. This week, everybody. What do we got? We're going to talk about the things we did mm. at Cardboard Caucus last week in Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah, last week. Last week. Yes. Yeah. Have fun time. We had a lot of fun. Have fun we're going to talk about the games we yeah. played and you know some of the games that were checked out. Yes. We're just going to give you guys a full recap. Yeah. On Cardboard Caucus. Cardboard Caucus. It was fun yes. time in Des Moines. Yes, exactly. Yes, it was. Yes, so it was. before we get into all that good stuff, okay. Let's hear a word from our awesome sponsors. Yes. This month we've got Lucky Duck Games. Oh! Oh, they back, y'all. Yeah, they're returning. Yeah. And we have Cephala Fair Games. Love them. And our longtime sponsor, Kids Table Board Games. We will always love them. Here we go. Welcome to the Lucky Duck Games universe. The creators of Chronicles of Crime and Destinies and publisher of Oros, My Shelfie, Namalia, Flamecraft, and much, much more. Lucky Duck Games offers hours of fun and entertainment for you, your family, and friends. The variety of games, upgrades, and accessories under their banner is unparalleled. So are you feeling lucky? Be sure to check out their entire catalog at LuckyDuckGames.com. Cephala Fair Games is on a quest to make super amazing games that minimize randomness and reward player savvy. Their big claim to fame is their legacy style dungeon crawler Gloomhaven and other games in the universe such as Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, Founders of Gloomhaven, Gloomhaven Forgotten Circles and their latest entry into the world Frosthaven which is an even bigger adventure. Cephala Fair Games has expanded into new and exciting spaces such as comics, video games, and audio. Bring the fantasy to life with Cephala Fair Games. How do you spell fun? KTBG. Delight your friends and family with games from kids' table board gaming, such as Creature Comforts, Power Plants, and Dice Veggies. Make your family game night an event everyone will look forward to, because KTBG spells fun for the entire family. To view their entire catalog, visit k 
kidstablebg.com. All right. Yes. Lucky Duck Games. Lucky Duck. Now, they have some really good games out there. Yes, they do. Now, I'm just going to say I'm excited about something, that, a project that they took on for next year that mm -hmm. they're going to bring out, mm -hmm. and that is Food Chain Magnet. Now, if you don't know Food Chain Magnet, it is a splatter game, and splatter games are really hard, uh -huh. and they're really, really, you know, heavy, yeah, yeah. but they look like they're prototype. Oh, okay. Yes, they look like prototypes. So, that, you know, Lucky Duck, Lucky Duck Games is going to take it on mm -hmm. and make it beautiful. I'm excited. But what they got out now, family, <laughs> is Sinjutsu. Did I say it right? Sinjutsu. Sinjutsu. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. I'm ready to play this. I don't know about Starla, mm -hmm. but we'll see. All right. All right. And, of course, Cephala Fair Games. Yes. Now, they have Gloomhaven buttons and, and bugs. Mm -hmm. It's a little small game. Not the huge games that will fall on you and crush you, but it's a small <laughs> game where it has an adventure mm -hmm. where the, all the heroes get shrunk yeah. down and they got to find their way out yeah. to get big again. So, I'm excited <laughs> about that one, too. Yes. And, of course... KTBG. Hey, now, <laughs> let me tell you, Dice Veggies is out now in retail, in retail. family. Go check it, it out. out. So go <laughs> by your local game store mm. and go check it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so next we have Ask or PG. Mick, what questions do we have this week? All right, we got two of them. Okay. Pretty interesting. From some regular questioners, and I love them both. Yes. Love them. All right. Repeat, Dan, repeat, repeat offenders. Repeat offenders that we love. <laughs> yes. Dan and Lynette from Michigan. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. From Facebook. <laughs> they asked, when is Grant's birthday, and how much celebrating does he get? Well, well, we just celebrated his birthday yes. on November 2nd. Yes, and I think all uh, many of our OFG <laughs> family saw that and said yes. happy birthday. Yes. yes, he is 19 now. He's 19. Yes, yes so he is. Excited. Yes, he is. Yes, and he had the whole day. He had the whole day. That's yes. all we get, family. I get a few <laughs> hours. Now, let's get to the hierarchy. I get a few hours. Greg get a day. She get a month. That she is not true. She get a month, family. I, I don't get a month. You get a month. I, I get I get some selected hours throughout the month, but I don't get a whole month. Selected get, hours yeah, through the month. I don't get a whole month. I barely get a day. You barely? I, I, I barely. I barely get a day. Even though we celebrated at Starla Day. But okay, this is about Grant. Grant had a whole day. We had a mommy and son day. We went shopping and he got some tennis shoes. Yes, he did. Several pairs of tennis yes. shoes. Uh, but that's what we did. And then we, when Mick got home from work, yes. we took him out to eat. Yes. We tried this new place called, I think it's Smitty's. Uh, Smitty's Garage. Smitty's Garage. Yes, yes. It's like a burger and wings place. Yes. And it was actually it's really good. The burgers were really they good. They were really good. Yeah, good. So that was, that was fun. And Grant loved that. it because yeah. he loves burgers and wings. That's all he loves, family. <laughs> you and know. french fries. And french fries. And, and so, chips. And chips. And potato chips, so yes. We went there, had a really good meal with him. It was yes. our first time going to Smitty's and, and, Garage, and we and we'll enjoyed be back. it. We'll yes. be back. Yes. So we we do. We try to make it a special day. Yes. He's our one and only. Yeah, he so got a we, day. We try to make it a special day for he him. He gets a day. Yes, I get a few day. hours. I get a few hours. I'm permitted a couple of hours, and then the queen over here, she gets two months. She gets two months. Two months. <laughs> okay, how did it go from one month to two? She gets two months. Yes, exaggeration. It might be three, but we try to keep it at two. Oh we gotta keep it at two. Oh yes, my yes. God. But thank you, Dan. Thank, thank Dan you, Lynette. Thank, thank you so you for much. That question. Thank you. All right, so we got some more. Okay. okay. Haley and Michael. Uh, some more repeat offenders. Yes, fingers. yes. Twitter no. X. It's on Twitter X. That's what I Thank call it, family. Thank you guys so much. I call it Twitter X. Yes, I do. Uh, All right. So they asked mm -hmm. if you could hang out with any character from a board game, mm -hmm. which character would it be? Oh, my goodness. That's, that's a good well, question. Well, well, since you're going to take your time, I already know. <laughs> it's characters. And that's from the characters from uh, Above and Below. Oh, no. Yes. The world of Ozium. Is it Ozium? It's Ozium. 
Okay, yes, maybe Arzium. it is Arzium. From the world of Arzium that was created by, uh, you know, Ryan Lockett, yeah. Lockett from uh, Red Raven Games. Yeah. I want to be in that world. It's so cool. Well, you, you go in that world Frog by people. Yeah. You got you, the you glow yourself. glow. Yeah. You know, and then just regular folk, but it's all types of regular folk. Yeah. And it's just some really cool stuff going on in that world. Yeah, you I want to check your, it out. You buy yourself. Go to Owlbound so I yeah. can go to different, you know, you know, islands and check it out, you know. Maybe fight a couple of, you know, big no. monsters. You know, I love that. Uh -uh. Go in the world below, you know. Go far near, you know. I love it. Okay. I love it. Yes. All right. Yes. That, you're on your own with that one. Yes. But yes. as for me, uh -huh. because I am a former musician, oh. I would probably hang out with the characters from Draft and Ride Records. Yeah, you do like that game. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and now yeah. that I'm in the game. Yes. Now I that you car, have a card in I, the I game. I need to hang out with my fellow yes. musicians. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, I want to hang out with them. You know, I'd like to relive my you time. You want to go on tour because you know you can yeah, go on tour. Yeah, I want to relive my time yes, singing with bands tour. and yes. all that stuff. So I, I would like to do that. I think that would be fun. Okay. All right, yeah, you do yeah. your thing yeah, I mean, on I used tour. To do that, so You're gonna do your thing on tour. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, we're gonna tour around just like yeah. in Draft and Right. Because you know, in Draft and Right, you can do the tour. Yeah, that's so what yeah, we're gonna tour go, around. That's you right. do your thing, and you gotta, <laughs> you gotta pick, you gotta pick your musicians and stuff. You're I like, gotta put a band together. You know, your manager yeah. and all. You gotta yeah. do all that. So, yeah, but I think that'll be fun to kind of hang out with them and kind of relive my my yeah. youth. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can't, I can't wait for that game too. Me I want, I want to check the game. I'm excited about that game. It is a fun game. It is a fun game. So that's all I got. That's all, That's you all got? I got. Yes, it all is. Right. Yes, it is. So next up, we have a sweepstakes. Yes, we do. Yes. Yes, we do. From Qatar. Yes. And here it comes. <laughs> From November 5th to November 22nd, we are having a Catan sweepstakes. And what is up for grabs is Starfarers plus the New Encounters expansion. Send in an email. Grant will put more information below, but make sure you answer a question. While you travel the stars, what danger lurks? Now we want you guys to go ahead and enter to get these awesome games from Catan Studio. Oh, I am so excited about that family. I'm excited. Because yes. here it is. We got it ready for you. It's big. Katana, it's big, y'all. It's big. <laughs> and then also the brand new expansion, New Encounters. Yes, you have to the 22nd to enter. So go ahead and enter, family. Do that. Yes. Do that. Yes. All right. So next we're going to go into some board game news. Here we go. All right, Mick, what do we have in the news this week? Here we go, everybody. Mm. Whoa, that was good. That was good. That was good. I surprised myself. Yeah. I surprised myself. That was good, family. That was good. <laughs> okay. That was, good. That's, that was almost like serious. Was it really? That was serious. Okay. Right. That was like a public service announcement. Mm. That was serious. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I hope I didn't scare no pets, no RPG family pets. I hope I didn't. But I love them. I love them. All right. So here we go. I got some interesting okay. news. <laughs> All right. Very interesting. Now, it's my observation. Okay. Now, I look at the news a lot. I look, yep. I go through it. I check it out. Try and get interesting little tidbits here and there around mm -hmm. the board game world. Yeah. Now, something is really strange. What? And very interesting. Now, every week, yeah. I always see that there's a city somewhere in America that is happy that they're being put in Monopoly. Yes, oh family. My. Just this week alone, five cities. Yes, that is. I counted five cities. Uh -huh. Five cities are now new Monopoly games. Okay. Yes, family. Is uh, and I got them right here. Tulsa, Oklahoma. They happy. I mean, it was on the <laughs> on that local news. Then it's Farmington and Riley, Maine. Uh -huh. Then I think that's uh, Rangeley, Rangeley, Maine. Yeah. yeah. And then Boise, Idaho mm. is now in Monopoly and Richmond, Virginia. Wow. I mean, local news was covering it, family, saying <sighs> we are now going to be a Monopoly board. 
It's interesting. You, you know, and then they were really happy because some of the landmarks yeah. are going to be well, in course, the monopoly. Put that in the game. Yeah, it's going to be. <laughs> so, I mean, they had contests. Yeah. I think Richmond, Virginia had contests mm. to see what landmarks go into it. Mm. I mean, Stallers, they are just happy. Well, well, you know, my thing is this is yes. pandering. Now, it's, Monopoly, yes, pandering. you're pandering. Yes. Because you've That's gone Hasbro. as far as Hasbro. you can go. That's Hasbro. Well, Monopoly, whoever Monopoly. makes Monopoly. Whoever, yeah. whoever. You know, you've gone as far as you can go. So yes. now, in order to sell more Monopoly games, yes. you're going to do cities. No, that's the op. The op makes Monopoly. Well, that's the op. Okay. Yes, that's the op. You're going to do cities. That. Come on, op. And, and now people from the city are going to want to buy it because yes. their city is there. Yes. So you're trying to guarantee yourself hundreds of thousands of sales yes. of these games because only the people that live in those cities are going to buy it. Yes. But if you get a big enough city, that can easily be, you know, 300, 400, 500, yeah. or even a million people. Because, you know, they just did the Costco one. Yeah, so... And I know some people oh buy the goodness. Costco so they can just have the collect, so they can collect it. But well, I haven't got into that now. See, you yeah, used to I, do it. I was you used collector. to do it. And before you, you, I became enlightened, yes. like, enlightened, I became enlightened, been enlightened with the modern board game hobby. Yes, yes. I had a really growing but not It's still around. It's still around. And in storage. If I was not enlightened, mm. I would probably be the ones trying to collect every city. Yes. And you you would try to that. collect every city? I would probably try to collect every city oh so I can get all, Lord. you know, different cities. Yeah. You know, yeah. Monopoly, it's the same game. It's it just is. a different they just put skin. On, you know, new stuff. It's a new skin. Yeah, but so, but oh my God. <laughs> family, I've been, you know, I always see a city mm -hmm. enjoying the, you know, the, the yeah. bliss of being in Monopoly. I, I guess and so. this I week guess alone, so. it was five of them. Five. Yes. Five of them. Mm. Yes. From oh Maine, gosh. from Maine, to Idaho. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Monopoly. Oh yes. uh, yeah. So this all is right. now, now this is a funny one, family. This is a funny one. Check okay, this out. Okay. All right. All right. Now in Galt, the Galt Herald uh -huh. from out of Galt, California. Okay. It's kind of outside of Sacramento. Okay. Yes. Uh, but a local, the local high school there had a homecoming, mm. and in their homecoming parade, all the parade floats. There were like many parade floats yeah. were decorated. Re representing classic board games. Oh, it was oh, really that's cool. That's cute. That's yes. a nice idea. Yes. Now, yeah. check this out, family. The German club picked Scrabble. <laughs> now that would be a German club. All right. Now the art club picked Uno. Okay. Now that was interesting. Uno. Yeah. Okay, they're not enlightened. Are no, they're they? not they enlightened. Have, no, they're not. Because the art club, there's so many games. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. What, yes. what else? What okay. Else? The Fellowship of Christian Athletes picked Connect Four. Connect. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. the seniors created a giant monopoly board and pieces. <sighs> okay, while the juniors dedicated a gingerbread house and other sweets for Candyland. Oh my! Now, family, the only class <sighs> that acted a fool were the sophomores. Guess what they did? What? They dressed up. They float like Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man. That's not That's a That's not a game. game. Well, you know what? You know what? There could what? be a Pac-Man board game. There is one. Okay, actually. okay, but, but they were doing they, video. They're the, the only ones. The video game they're the sure. only ones that went video. <laughs> they were video game. The only ones, y'all. Yes, yes. Now the freshmen, mm -hmm. they they came hard. They went clue. They went clue. The freshmen went okay, clue. Okay. Yes. Oh, and and go to back for the the Pac-Man. Yeah. Their high score was two thousand and twenty six. <laughs> Yes. Well, yeah, they're when are you gonna graduate? graduate. Yeah, that's yes, cute. Yes. That's cute. Now the cheerleaders, <laughs> the cheerleaders were awarded the most creative float. Okay. Them cheerleaders, they know what they be doing, <laughs> and they had a homage to the game of life. Game of life. Go ahead on, cheerleaders. Go ahead on. Now, the seniors got the award for the best float with Monopoly. Monopoly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Monopoly, you know. But I think that was a really cool idea. It's, it's a cute idea. Yes, but mm -hmm. they got to go modern, but I like what yes. they did. Anybody who lives in the area of yes. that high school, reach out. Get some pictures. Yeah, no, but reach out and tell them about the modern board game. So yes. if they decide to do this thing again yes. as an annual thing, yes. maybe they can find some new stuff. Yeah. Because they're still talking about games that my husband and I played when we were kids. Yes, and they still play. And they're still playing those same games 
today. So if you live near that yes. high school, Galt is Galt. Galt. G A L T. Galt. Yes. If you yes. Live, go go talk to him. Say, go hey, talk to him. Galt, here's California. Some new games. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and and please talk to the sophomores because Pac Man is not a boy game. <laughs> Somebody talk well, to them. Again, I don't know. There are what? thousands of games out there. There could be. No, a they had a high score of twenty. <laughs> 26. Maybe that could be a high score in the game. I, no. I, I, I don't know. They were they're I, the only I, ones. They had, probably, to, they had yeah. to mess up the whole thing. <laughs> I've been talking about them, family. I would have yeah, been talking about them. It's probably it. a video game. But yes. regardless, you know, so many games out there. I can't remember all of them. But, yes. yeah, go reach out and say, hey, there are a bunch of change. games out there. Change. Look at some new stuff. It's time to change. <laughs> but that was, that was a cool little story. Yeah, that's a cool story. That was story. a cool little story. Yeah. Now, what you got, Star? That's all for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you haven't checked out our latest episode of OFPG Voices, yes. episode 44, yes. it is out now. Check it out. Yes. And then we have a new episode coming out on November 8th. Uh -huh. And as we always love to do, we want to thank our awesome contributors yes. for being dedicated to uh, this program and trying to help it grow. And we just love, you know, highlighting marginalized and underrepresented voices on OFPG Voices. Yes, we do. And we want to thank our awesome sponsors. Yes. Board and Dice and Flat Out Games yes. for, you know, helping us keep this program alive. So thank you so much for that. And also all of you that contributed to our Kickstarter. Yeah, Kickstarter you guys yeah. helped too. Yeah, so thank yes. you so much for keeping this program alive. Yes. And we want to continue to make it grow. Yes. Now, yes. our next event, uh -huh. we will be at BGG Fall. Yes, here we yes. come. Yes, and that come. is November 15th yes. to the 19th in All week, Dallas, baby. Texas. All week, yeah. We will be there. Yes. We will do, we'll do a show on yes, that we Saturday. Yes. We're going to have a nice panel. we got some great panelists that will be on there. Yes. We're going to be talking about games and all the stuff we normally talk about. Yes, Life and yes. board games and I more life. I think it's our top, <laughs> each, one, each one of the panelists and us will have yes. a top five yes. of the games we in 2023 some of our so far some yeah, of our favorites because I'm just gonna I'm not gonna say love yes. I'm gonna say like yes just like well, just so some far. of our favorites yes. from 2023 yeah so far so, so if far you, if you haven't got, done. if you haven't got your ticket or you haven't registered for the show please do so and as we always do in all of our shows we're gonna be giving away games you know what so come on you we're gonna have us. our little raffle you know where us. we give away games yeah. you get a ticket and we're gonna call names and you must be present to win so make sure you come, stay to the end, so you can be present to win a game. Now, that's our last convention for 2023. Yes. We are going to wind down because we have been really busy Ooh, this year. Yes. Busy going yes. to conventions and doing game nights yes. and just a lot of stuff going yes. on. Yes. So we're going to wind down for the holidays. But starting off the first week of January... We are going to Seattle, Washington. Yes! We will be at Orca Con yeah. from January 5th through the 7th. Yes, we will. We will be at Orca Con, and we'll be doing a live show there as well. Yes, we will. So if you're anywhere in the vicinity, come on out to Orca Con. Come have some fun with us. Play some games. Yes. Check out our show. We love to see you. We're going to the Pacific Northwest. Yes, I mean we lived there for a while. Yeah, well, you and I lived there yes. for five years, yes. and before I married you, I lived there for seven years. So I have a total of twelve years living in the Seattle area. And we're going back. And we're going back. Yes. And I can't wait. Can't I wait. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Now I'm not too sure about January. I don't know about January. I, I, I'm hoping we don't have they, a lot of snow. Now they talking about this this <laughs> El Nino. They talking about El Nino. That that's going to be kind of crazy, so I yes. don't know. I don't know. I, I have to say, Seattle is much more uh, uh, friendly and, and, and beautiful in the summer. Yes. But we're going to be there in January, yes. so I hope you'll come out too. I, I hope so. I hope so. Yes. yes and we so. also want to say that our pledge manager is finally open. It's coming. It's yes. coming to you. It Surveys are coming. Surveys yes. are coming out. Yes. If you want to go ahead and do some add-ons or late pledges or whatever that is. Yeah, late pledges are open, y'all. Yeah, open. So yes. go Go check us out. Um, check out our website or, you know, check out our late pledges. We put out a post about it. So, right, go ahead. And if you want to continue to support Our Family Plays Games, here's another opportunity. Let's do it. <laughs> do it, family. Do it, family. We thank you so much, yes, too, though. We, we love y'all. We, we love y'all for guys. all the support y'all give. We love y'all. We yes. love y'all. Now, Starla, Starla. Now, I got something on. Yes. I got something on. What about our merch? Well, yes. you know, if you're looking for a shirt yes. or a cup yes. or, or, or a poster uh -huh. or a Tumblr, yes. you know, check us out on Spring. Yes. We've got a variety of shirts to choose from. Yes, we do. From our logo shirts 
to our Meeple Line shirts. Yes. You know, go check us out. We've got sayings, you know, anything, you know, board game related, you know, stuff so you can wear it to your different conventions. Yes. Go check out the stuff we have to offer. Come on, fam. Check it out. <laughs> check it out. All right. So now we're going to go into the heart of the episode. Here we go. All right, we've made it to the heart of the episode. Yes. Our Cardboard Caucus yes. Recap. Yes, so I want to start off okay. and talk about the uh, games that were, the top five games yes. that were checked out from Board Game Wagon. That's Matt and his crew. Love you, Matt. Love you. <laughs> I got but, him. you know, if you need a library on the go, check out if Board Game Wagon. Area. Yeah, if you're in the area. <laughs> yes, if you're in the area. All right, so here we go. Here we go. This is from Board Game Wagon. The top Five. Mm -hmm. We had heat pedal to the metal ten times. Wow. Ten times. That's a hot, hot game. Oh heat my god, I saw that played everywhere. I mean, they love yes. that game. I love it. <laughs> I like you see it right back here. Yeah. I love that game. Yeah. I love heat. Now the next one is Dice Miner seven times. Oh, that's a good one too. Good I love one. that one now, too. I haven't got it yet, family. I have I know I have a green light. But I gotta get that plastic mountain. Plastic mountain that's yes. Right. So the next one, and this is a good one. Yeah. Point City, seven oh, times from wow. Flat Out Games. Yeah, that's a yes. good. These are great games. That's a great game. These that's are great. All great that's games. Point Salad 2.0. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. Next one. Oh, Hughes and Cues. Yeah. That was six times. Oh, Hughes and Cues. Yes, that's a good. Okay, that's, that's a nice party game. Party game. That's yes. a nice party game. Yes, yes, nice yes, party yes. game. And the last one, interesting, fit to print. Five times. Wow. Yes, another uh, flat out. Flat out games, no, fun game. Yes. Yeah. It kind of like like really like a party yeah. game, kind of sort of, where you got to go real fast you and do stuff. Fast, putting this paper together and all that. Yeah, but, yeah. So yeah. that's the five. Oh. You know, thank you, Matt, again from Board Game Wagon, but that's pretty interesting. The top five games that were checked five. out yes, throughout the weekend. Yes, it was. Now we had a show on Saturday. Yes. And we uh, decided to title our show mm -hmm. "The Forgotten." Yes. And we wanted to just kind of highlight a few games that we used to play all the time. And we don't play them anymore. And it's almost as if they're forgotten. But then we also did another spin on that. And we asked our audience about, you know, are we living in the cult of the new? Yes. Now, we made this a very interactive show yes. where we allowed our audience to, you know, tell stories and ask questions. And we really had a good you know, riveting discussion about living in the culture of the yes. new yes. And, and games that are almost forgotten yes. because of the culture of the new. Yes, yes, <laughs> so you're so right. It yes. was fun, yes. well attended. We had our typical, you know, raffle where we gave away games and, and we just had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. We like to do different things. Yes, we do. So if we do a live show at a, at a convention somewhere, it's not going to be the same show if you went to a convention somewhere else. We try to switch it up, change it up. Even if we're doing a list, we gotta switch it up a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna play with you. We're gonna play, that's yes. why you gotta come out and check us out live. Yes. You gotta come out. Come out, out and, cause again, yes. we like for it to be interactive. We yeah. like to incorporate the audience. We want you to get up and ask questions and mm -hmm. tell your stories. Have fun. And have fun with yeah. us, yeah. We even have hecklers. Nate, how you doing, Nate? Yes. We even have uh, hecklers, y'all. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we already have a local heckler yes. here in Omaha. That's Heath. Heath. Yes. And he's the husband of our local board game dealer, Becky. Why you got to do Becky like that? She ain't no dealer. Yeah. She, 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 deals, do, she do good she, stuff. She deals board games to the she, addicts. No, she do good stuff. You leave my <laughs> Becky alone. We, we have one. And then Nate, who is also from Omaha, yeah. you know, he works with Board Game Wagon. Yes, he does. And him and his, his wife, Melissa, uh, they came to Cardboard Caucus. And so since yeah. Heath was not present, Nate decided Here to take Nate. over his role and yes. become our, our heckler. Yes. But we had a lot of fun. And, yeah. and, and yeah, I mean, what's a show without a heckler? What, what's a show without a heckler? You know, a friendly a heckler. A friendly heckler. Yes, a friendly, friendly heckler. heckler. Yes, a friendly you know? heckler. Yeah, we, we're not going to tolerate negative no. hecklers. No. We're not going to have no. that. But a friendly heckler, we yes. can take those all day. But it was a good, it was a good conversation about why people really are into the, you know, the, 
the the FOMO yeah. and and you know into yeah. oh I want that game that new game yeah. so bad I want all the games on on the list yeah. of BBG you know yeah. hotness yeah. I want all of them you, you know, know we we know publishers want to sell all these yes. new games yes they do but I mean the reality is is that sustainable yeah. for for uh, gamers can yeah. can you get all can these games I mean thousands of games are coming out you yeah. only have so much space I mean we're we're having that problem right now yes. we we got to move somewhere bigger because the games are taking over they've got their own life we're, we're almost like a <laughs> warehouse now exactly like exactly yes. so anyway it was a really good show yes it was and if we're at a convention make sure you check out our live show and thanks for everyone that came out and yes. had fun with us thank you to so everybody came. that came to the the uh you know to the, cardboard the, the, the panel yeah yes. so yes. to come to our panel and came out yes. to see so us much. and, and yes. to visit with us and we really appreciate that yes yeah uh, so now we want to talk about uh, our games. Yes, our games that we play. Yes, the yes. games we play. Now, the first one was <laughs> the first one was Cat in the Box, the deluxe yes. edition from Bezier Games, where yes. QT came from. Yeah, and we didn't take QT to Cardboard No, Caucus, no, because QT would so be, was, we, would, yeah. we would lose Q yeah, QT. Yeah, we didn't take QT. We would but, lose him. But yeah, yeah, we played Cat in the Box first, yes. and, first off, and it was fun. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. I think Susie beat us, or was it Jared? I think it was, <laughs> I think Susie beat us, yeah. and Jared was always getting the paradox. <laughs> Yes, paradox. he was doing a paradox. But it's a fun game. It's a yes. trick taking like you've yes. never seen before, where none of the cards they have, have no, no color, no color, no color. It has no nothing, and you got to give it, you know, a you color. Gotta assign you got to give it a suit. You have to assign the color when you play it, the suit that when you play it. Yes. And then you've got this research board where you've got these little tokens uh, that are your particular color, player color. Yeah. And you put them on the board, and if you can put them in a connective pattern, you get extra points. If you bet right. Right. If well, you bet right. Well, if, if you finish the game and, the and, and game. You, you get the books that you yes. uh, decided to bid. Yes, to bid. Yes, to bid. bid. If you bid it right, you get good. you'll get points for those little yes. tokens that are on the research board. Yeah, if you bid um, it right. Board. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yes, it was. Uh, we, we had quite a few paradoxes. Yes, uh, quite a few. <laughs> I didn't paradox, though. I almost won, family. Then I just faulted at the end. I almost, family. Yeah. I almost, almost. Well, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Cat in the Box. It's a Bezier game. Yeah. Uh, two to five players. Two to five players. Yeah. Now, the next one is Starla was able to play it at the World <laughs> Series of Board Game yes. with the designers and publishers uh, exploring. I think it was it's just the publishers. Eight. Yeah, yeah Explore eight. 8. I don't think yeah. it was the uh, designers, but it was the publishers. Yeah. And it's Fruto Play. Fruto Play. It's not even here yet. <laughs> it's still over in Europe. Yeah. But hopefully it'll get over here. But it is, uh, you know, I tried it. Yeah. It's a fun game. I end up playing it on Friday and yeah. Saturday. Yeah. And it is a fun game. Yeah, we, we had a lot of fun with it. It's a two to six player yeah. game. And it's a Trick taking, but a, a weird yeah, trick taking. It's a trick taking game, yeah. and you're gonna do a, a, a like a river or whatever. It's like a uh, yeah, with like, seven cards. Yeah, river. Yeah, and your goal is to come as close to the card that's being uh, played on that turn. Yes. So if your card is a seventeen, then you want to have you want to play. It's a banana. You want to play a card that's yellow, a banana, that's as close to 17 as you can get. And if you don't play, if nobody plays a yellow card, then the next card that's closest, regardless yeah. of suit, would take the trick. Yeah. But then you've got those wild and crazy number 13s. The, the bad fruit. The evil fruit that Zombie you want to give off to other people. <laughs> yes, because yeah. that gives you negative points. So you want to well, keep that Well, actually, that end. makes you give up a card yes. at the end. But you know, another thing, yeah. if you have two pl if two players come like the even like if you have a 17 in there and you have someone has a 16 yeah. and then someone has yeah. uh you know like what is that a well, what you're saying is if the difference yeah the difference between is the your same. card yes, and someone else's card is yeah. the same those two cards cancel out yeah because if somebody yeah. like i was saying if some if you have a 17 sitting and someone has a 16 and someone has an 18 that cancels yeah, out Yeah, because it's a one yeah. one point difference between yeah. each one of those yeah. on either end so they cancel out and then the next group of players yes. get a chance to that's score. what you be hoping for all the time yeah. you be hoping like oh, I don't have close, but hopefully yeah. two players lost their mind yeah. and I can win it. But so it's yeah. it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Oh Fruit my god, it's a lot, it's a lot of, fun. of fun. And yes. we really are so appreciative that Explorate gave yes. us a copy to bring home from the World Series of Board yes, Games. Yes, and yes. everybody is loving it. Yes. I mean, I've heard nothing but good <laughs> things about it. Fruit to play. Yes, everybody that played with us, they loved it. They loved it. Now the next yes. one I think is um, Gap. no, we, we play Gap. That's right. Yeah, we all Gap. play Gap. Yeah, we all play Gap. Yeah, and this is from Funbot fun Games. Yes. It's a two to six player game. Yes. Arcade Wonders yeah. is uh, brought it over. Yeah. I mean, they're publishing it. <sighs> it's a trick-taking game. Yes. It's kind of... <sighs> 
Wait, wait, let, let me explain. Let her explain. Let her explain. <laughs> Gap is similar <sighs> to what we were talking about, a fruto play. Yes. Where you, you get the cards if the gap is the closest gap, am I correct? Yeah, if the, it, it's a weird. The scoring uh, is weird, weird. But you're looking at the gap. So you're looking at the gap. If, if someone of, played a nine and then you play a four. Well, you, you take all of those. If you yeah. played a nine, you take all the cards that are nines yeah. are close to. Yeah. Like if you got a, if there's a zero out there and you have like a one, you take the right. zero because it's in that area, it's in that gap. Well, each card has yeah. the two numbers you can take. So Pretty cards, yeah, though. If, pretty uh, cards. Very pretty cards. Pretty cards. The metallic yeah. color very pretty yeah. but like you say if you have a zero and i don't have a zero i can yeah. play then i can play a one and the one will show you i can play or i can a, take a zero yeah. or a two or a two yeah so yeah. It's, it's, it's a weird game you no know, you play the z because the zero one or a nine or a ten or something like that was, but if i had a one i could take the zero uh, zero or the two. one yeah you can zero or the yes, two you can yeah so yeah, yeah. That's right so it's that's kind right. of it's, it's it was it's, interesting. Yeah, it's. it's um, a I know weird we're not one. explaining it the best way. You gonna have to try gap for yourself. Yeah, because it was. Yeah. It's an interesting game, but it took us a long time to really understand how to play the yeah. thing. Yeah, you know, it took it, a long time. And it time. didn't grab us. No, like it didn't Fruto grab us. Play. Fruto no. play grabbed us. Fruto play grabbed us yeah. and shook us and said, <laughs> "Play this," you know. But but, but gap. Yeah, no. gap, gap is. No. You play that for yourself, and if you guys yeah, have yeah. that, see if you send, it, let you us know, know what you think. See what you think. We, we're on the fence but with that no, one. No, on, no, it, it no, wasn't. Okay, no, we're not yeah, on the fence. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna play yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, our yeah. next one is hike. Hike from Snowboard Games. Yes, Snowboard Games. Yes, two to six players. Yes. Now this was a recent Kickstarter uh -huh. that came through that they gave it to all the backers, yes. and we played with someone that had it. Yes. Was it Mich uh, Michelle? It Michelle. Was Michelle. Yeah. Michelle taught us the yeah. game. Now it's a really strange game because you got to put together your, your you team, know, your, your, dog team, sled your dog team. sled team. Yeah, you, you build a yeah, team you, you say hike, but it's not really hiking. Well, you know what hike means? What does hike mean? Hike is the command that mushers uh, use to start the... Um, oh, you say hike! Yeah. To start, hike! That's oh, you do that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know that. I wrote that down because yeah, I want to make sure I didn't know we that. explain why the game is called hike. Because it's really two games in one. Yes. Because you have to make up your team mm -hmm. by drafting dogs yes. and put in your team. You have these cubes. You have, I think you have like eight cubes. Yeah. You have like six or eight cubes that you have to put down and then you have to fill them yeah. with your 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 your, uh, dogs, your huskies. Yeah. Your huskies. You got to put your yeah. huskies under there. And you have like, you know, young huskies that don't have any, you know, anything with, you know, any um, yeah. you know, well, like, they have little indicators at yeah, the bottom how you can play these how you cards. Can play them. And the young huskies don't, don't have, have any indicators. And then some yeah. of the other uh huskies mm -hmm. have like you can go through uh black ice, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. snow, yeah. light snow yeah. and different things like that. Yeah. So you try to get your your you know get all your huskies because then you see the uh, the trail that you have to uh, race on yeah and you got to have enough of the uh, you know huskies to help you get along on that yeah. trail so so with yeah. your with your team when you build your husky team uh the mature dogs have little snowflakes yes on the bottom which are your indicators so yes. you'll have a white snowflake a black or a blue and then after you've built your team now it's time to race yes and you have to have enough snowflakes yes. to cover the snowflakes that are on the trail yes they and get you, far yeah so if you don't have enough snowflakes to cover it the first round you have to stop where your snowflakes end. Yes. And then you get a chance to replay those snowflakes again, or those use those dogs again, using those same snowflakes to get further. And then the first person to get to the cross the finish line or the one to get the furthest will win the game. But it, those snowflakes but is crucial. You only win the game if you, you have the most un, untired dogs, yes. unexhausted dogs yes. in your, uh, your, your, your sled. Yeah. Yeah, so but it's, it's an interesting game. It's an game. interesting game because it's two. Because yeah. we were talking about the second part of the game. <laughs> yeah. You know, because the first one you draft is get your get team your together, team, and, the and then the second racing. one is racing. Yes. Yeah, because so once your team is built, you can't get any you more can't dogs. Can't go back. You can't go back. That's already done. One, so you, now once it's you're racing. done, you cannot go you back and get your back. dogs. That's so it. you got to <laughs> really concentrate and getting the right dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's an interesting game. It is interesting. It's an interesting game. Yeah. Yeah. Now the next one we played was Life of Amazonia. Woo! Bad comic. Whoa! One of our favorite publishers. Whoa! <laughs> it's a one to four player game. Whoa! And, and all I can say is love. Let me tell you something. I was kind of like, okay, let's see what Bad Comet got this time. Yeah. 
and Susie, Susie had it. She taught it to us. Yes. And wow, family. Loved it. You got to find that one because that is a fun. It was fun, so much fun. Oh, wow. It's a middleweight game. Yes. It's not for no, it's gateway. Not, no, it's not gateway. Yeah, no, it's I, I a would, lot going on. Yeah, so much going on. I would want to put somebody through that the yes. first time I yes. out or they were new. But somebody who's played games for a while, you can sit down. This has meat on its bones. Yes. You're going to have fun with it. You're going to be thinking. You may even have a little analysis yes. paralysis. Because you're, you're making... Fun. Yeah, because you're making your own little habitat you with, tiles, with different animals, with different animals, mm -hmm. and you're trying to yeah. collect uh, enough resources yes. to get other resources, so you can put a and then get animals to get too, animals yeah. to put in your little habitat. Exactly, and it's kind of like you know area control, kind of sort of in a way, because you, mm -hmm. you got to put animals so they can score you points in different exactly. types of ways. So you have you know, different, you know, uh, objectives, in, the objectives, yeah. and in-game bonuses you can get, but it all depends on how you build your habitat. Yes. And you got to get animals in that habitat. Yes, and you got to work and, hard. And there's some there's some criteria out there where it may be you got to have a particular animal near a tree. Yes. A particular animal between a tree and, and water. That's or whatever water. the case yes. may be. Yes. But it's so much fun and you've got to sit yes. there and figure all this stuff out as you're building your habitat. Lots of fun. I, I love a thinking game. Uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun because mm -hmm. you got to switch out. Because you, it's, it's also you have mm -hmm. a bag that you go in and get your resources from. You do some drafting from, from the best yeah, drafting from the bag. From a bag. So, yeah. so it, it has that kind of a quacks uh, feel to yeah, it. Yeah, it has a little quacks of Quecklenburg in it. Now, I have to yeah. say, that mm. was the most, most frustrating thing. What? Was the bag. Ooh, Even what? though I love quacks and I yeah. love the way we do it. Yeah. But I mean, I would go out here and I would purchase all these resources. And you can never get, get them. Get them in my bag. And yeah. then I start pulling out. I don't get what I need. But see, I think that's the, the, <laughs> the, the you know, the, I guess the strategy or yeah. the, you know, the the luck uh, kind of, yeah. you know, like, uh, can you get those resources that yeah. you need? Yeah. And if you don't get them, how are you going to work through that? Exactly. And I think that's the fun of the game. Yeah. You know, like, okay, I didn't get the, you know, the stuff I needed. <laughs> so how am I going to work it around so I can get the stuff I yeah. need to keep moving yeah. on and win? Yeah, because yeah. you can only have so many, uh, you can only pull so many tokens yeah, out five. at a time. You can only pull out five. And so you're pulling and you're like, I know I have some bigger numbers in here. Yeah. And I can't get to them, but overall, without even with that little yes. frustration, the game is a lot of fun. Yeah, because you can also store like only like one or two, but yeah. you gotta buy up to be able to store you gotta, stuff. Yeah, to be yeah. able to store. So Woo! it's a good game, though, family. It's a good game. Lots it's of It's a fun. real good game. Great components. Yeah, looks beautiful. Yeah, I mean everything a gamer wants. I mean colorful yes. and yes. components. Life of Amazonia. Life of Amazonia. Yeah. Yes. So next one uh, I played, which is New York Zoo. All right. What's up with that? Fruital and Spill. What, what? It is a one to five player game. What is up with that? And I decided to play it because I heard uh, Dwayne and Alicia talk about this game. That's mm -hmm. Blackboard Gaming. And I said, you know what? I want to learn to play this game because they talk about it so highly. Yes. And Susie taught uh, me New York Zoo. She had a copy of it. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting game. It, it, it is very gateway. Yeah. Uh, because really, you're just breeding animals. Okay. You're going through. Okay. You have to, and, and it's got the polyominal tiles. Mm. And you're building up your zoo. And every time you can f uh, fill up a tile with animals, you take those animals off and you can score that tile and you can get another piece you can put in there. So it's, it's really interesting. And mm. animals breed. There's certain spots that you can cross where your animals will breed. So you've got different size tiles, like a seven space tile Ooh. or a six space tile, okay. you know, four a space tile. Now, the four space tiles, you don't get those till later on in the game. Mm -hmm. You know, when okay. you get those, you can really, you know, fill those up quickly yeah, 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 yeah. And, and get your animals out there. A lot of fun. It is a race. Uh, Susie won the game by one tile. How do you feel beating See, you by just one, one, one point? One tile. You know, because it's a race. The first person to fill up their zoo yeah, yeah. wins the game. Oh, so you're just doing your individual zoo. Yeah, everybody has an individual zoo. Okay, okay. And at the end, I had one more tile to play, so, right. and Susie got me before. Really? It, it's a fun little game against Gateway. Uh, nothing like Life of Amazonia. Okay. Uh, but it's a good game. Now, is it kind of take that? Is it any player interaction a little bit? Not really. Really? Not really. So you're just no. working on your own zoo? You're working on your own okay. zoo. There's no player okay. interaction. Or take okay. that. I yeah. mean, there's nothing Susie could do, you know, to my zoo. Okay. It's okay. up to me how I got it fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was great. Great components, but um, yes, yeah, it's, it's an interesting okay. game. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, I played a game called Riverside mm -hmm. from Stronghold Games. Mm -hmm. Now, it's an interesting, it's a rolling right. Oh. It's a, it's a straight up rolling right, but it's interesting because you have a board. You have to, it's like you're on a ship. Yeah. You, and you have, and someone is picked mm -hmm. the captain, yeah. and you have dice. You roll a dice. 
and you have you know you find the medium of the dice mm -hmm. and then you when you find that medium you have a ship that has a board where you're going around uh in this wintry type area oh. and you're going to you're taking passengers mm -hmm. to different towns so they can do winter activities oh. like you know watching polar bears mm -hmm. or like fishing uh -huh. and doing things like yeah. that mm -hmm. so you're going around this like little route yeah. and you're trying to you just roll the you know roll the dice mm -hmm. getting the number and just basically checking off stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool, you know, trying to get passengers to fill up a boat yeah. and then you're trying to get some, you know, some, uh, you know, points. Mm -hmm. And it's a really fun game. It's interesting. It's a little frustrating at first, though, family. I'm going to tell you, because <laughs> trying to learn the game because there's a lot mm -hmm. of math. But luckily, we had someone that loves math, Jared. <laughs> and when, uh, when, I was t when I was reading the rules, Jared kept saying, oh, I love that. It's math. I love it. And he kept saying it, and he said, ooh, that's good, it's math. I said, here you go, Jared. I just gave him the rule book. <laughs> I said, here you go, Jared, just take it, because you love math. And he kind of taught it to us, and it's a, it's a little bit of math, but once you get it, it's a really just, yeah. it's really interesting and fun, you know, roll and write. Yes. So, and that's what it is, it's pure roll and write, and it's pretty fun, it's pretty fun. Okay, yeah, yeah. I didn't get a chance to play that yes, one. Yes, yes. Okay, now the next one on our list is Salem, Salem 1692. We like that game. It is a, a lot. four to twelve player game. Yes. And it's a social deduction game. Yes. We with the twist of with card twist. management. That's true. You yes. got hand management, hand you got management. cards. Yes. And it's a lot of fun. Yes. Because you're trying to hunt down witches. Yes. Trying to hunt down witches. And let me just tell you, family, I played this game a lot and I have never been a witch. Never been a witch? Never. Mm -hmm. No, never. But this one over here, <laughs> witchy, <laughs> she's been a witch. Burn her. <laughs> we we had a lot of fun with the yes. game. Who yes. won? Was it the witches or the townsmen? I think both times, because we played it twice, yeah. I think the townspeople won because we found the witches. We found the witches. Yes, yeah. we did find the witches <laughs> both times. Because remember, one time, someone was uh, had both of the witch cards. They did. <laughs> and we, we got her, yeah. and it was done. That's right. Yes, it, yeah, it was done. And, so yeah, it was fun. So we, we had a lot of fun. Uh, I think we were playing. Because you got to find the witch cards. You got to find them because you turn over cards and stuff. Because it's really a really cool card management system. So I like that. I really do like that. It's, it's yeah, a fun and game. And we were playing, I think it was with David and Jen, was it? I uh, know. David and Julie. David and Julie. Sorry. Da David, David and, and Julie, Julie. Allison. Allison. And then it was uh, Susie and Jared and yes. me and you. Yeah. Uh, David was sitting next to me. Yes. And the second game we played. I realized David was really, really, as, as my son likes to say, these new terminologies, gassing me up. Yes. He, he was uh, helping me out. No, y'all really close, though. No. Because me and Julie, <laughs> we, we were trying to help each other. He, he was he was helping me out. Yeah. He was saying nice things to me. And I had to start to wonder, because I was not a witch. No. Yeah, you I was were. trying to find, I, I was not. You and were. I was trying to find the witches. And, and by the time David got discovered, I had already clicked. I was like, you know what? He's being too nice. And he was being so nice because he was a witch. Yeah. And he didn't want me to figure it out. But ah, but you know man. what's so cool? When people get you, because you have a little character that you're playing, a, yes. a historical character from Salem Witch Trials yeah. that you put, you, that, you know, give you uh, yeah. powers and stuff. Yeah. Everybody played within the character. Yes, they did. It was really fun. Everybody played within yeah. the character, so it was fun. <laughs> I, li I really do like Salem 1692. I, I, I really do like it. It's and, a fun game. And two game. of those characters, Susie said, are her ancestors. Yes, two of those characters her, they're, are they're her based ancestors. on real people. People. Real people. And two of the characters, uh, the I think it's a farmer and his wife is, I think, a seamstress. Yeah, and they're related to her. They're related to yeah. her somewhere down the line. Yes. And we had a lot of fun playing. It's, a, it's always a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And Susie does a great job yes. running it. Yes, yes, she does. You gotta have a storyteller and she runs it. Yes. All right, yes. we played another game yes. called Spots. Yes. From C M Y K. Fun. It's a wonderful four player game. Yes, fun. It's a cute little, it's a gateway game, Fun. but you've got these cute little dog cards. Yes. And they have spots, and the spots are representative of dice. Yes. So you have a dog with a two spot mm -hmm. or a three spot or mm -hmm. several spots, and you're supposed to roll dice and take those dice and be able to fill in 
the spots on your dog cards. Yes, uh, and you have different, uh, like, I guess, like, objectives. Yes, there are different objectives. You know, you like, how many do you have? Like, about... Uh, I think it was six. It's six? Yeah. And you have to pick your, you know, how you get... Because some of them give you, like, two, roll two dice. Yep. And then you roll another one if you don't I like them. I roll eight dice. I roll eight dice. Which is bad. And then pick, Always bad. You know, roll eight <laughs> dice. Pick the, the you know, the, uh, the dice that you want. Yeah. You know, that have the same, yeah. you know, side. And then throw the other ones away. Yeah. But it's different ones that yeah. you turn it over. So, you know, you're opponent won't be able to have that you know that objective yeah to once use somebody uses it it can yeah. be used in that particular round it was a lot of fun it's a, it's a lot of fun it's, it's, it's a cute it, it concept it reminds me like, and you said it yeah. roll for it it's kind of like but roll a little for different it, but a little yeah. different a little, a little twist different. to yeah, it a little twist but it was a lot of fun and, and Susie taught us that game as well so yes. that was a lot of fun okay so let me ask you let me ask you yeah. roll for it or spots both really yeah I mean if we had to introduce a little dice game to newcomers okay uh, I think I would try to do both. I would introduce them to roll for it. Okay. And then I would let them see if they like spots. Because they're both different. They're different games. They're, they're different games. Yeah, different there games. There is dice rolling. Yeah. There is card matching. Because with roll for it, you're matching the uh, dice on the card. Yeah. But I think when they added the different objectives. Yeah. Uh, and it's the, a lot of them, Yeah, too. for a the dogs. Yeah. That's what gives that extra spin. Okay. And All so right. um, I would try them both. I, I would like to see how, how do you think, what do you think about this? Or what do you think about this game? But yeah, I would definitely love spots. Spots and, and roll for it. We can't get rid of no games. We won't, we won't be. We're just adding. We can't get rid of none. We're just adding. Just adding. I love it, though, family. I love it. Just adding. I love it. Because okay. Do I get a green light on that one? Do I get a green light? It's a cute game. And I'm just going to stop right there with it's a cute game. Dang it. Yes, we want yes, a game. A green light, y'all. <laughs> of course. Green light. Of course we yes, want you game. want it. It yes. was fun. <laughs> green light, you heard it, family. Oh, my you God. You heard it, green light. Yeah. I, now, <laughs> now, family, this, oh, I played this one. I played this one. Num uh, uh, this one is, it's so much fun. I'm going to teach Starla very soon. Hopefully, maybe tonight, or we uh, already played it. We're we'll going to see. We'll see. It's called Wandering Towers from Capstone Games. Oh, my goodness, it's a fun game. It's a fun game where you go around and you have these towers. Yeah. And you, you have a, a hand of cards mm -hmm. and you can only use two of them. Yeah. And either you move your wizard or you move a tower. Oh. And your objective is you try to get your wizard who's a student who didn't do his homework uh -huh. and he's trying to get the class because there's a big old like black uh, a tower yeah. that's the classroom you're uh -huh. trying to get your wizards into that classroom mm -hmm. and you also have to turn over these like little um, like bottles that have liquid in there because yeah. you got to turn over to have liquid so you have all your class so projects like done potions. it's potions, potions. you'll okay. have your, your potions done and your students uh, your, your students wizards are in the you know yeah. classroom yeah. you win if you're the first one you win but you got to get them there and you got to get the combination now, now, now let me tell you how you get your potions okay field you, okay. you have to cover and when you have the towers you got to move the towers and cover up wizards other wizards oh. on the towers once you do that you steal their life essence you steal their life essence and okay. you fill up the portion the, the potion and you turn over one of your potion bottles that's that's what they say family you're still in life essence okay. you know, uh, you but, know. But one thing I, I noticed about the game there is yes. a cooperative it's not, really, it's not really co-op. You no, know, it's not really. It's, it's not. You sure? No, okay. no it's not. Cause you're uh, going. You're going after everybody. It's no co-op. Okay. No, it's not co-op. No, co no okay. it is no co-op. Cause okay. you are moving those towers over people, trying to trap your opponents, so you can steal their life essence, so you can try to get your wizard around to into that. Okay. That so school. It's not co-op. Okay. Nah, I just read nah, something nah, that said co-op. But, but the only crazy thing, you know, wizard, you know, the towers are getting stacked. Yeah. You know, the, the wizard, and you know, the wizards are getting covered up and stuff. Yeah. You, if you don't keep an eye on your wizard, you will lose track where they are. Mm. And you're like, oh my lord, where is the, where's my <laughs> wizard at? And you're like, oh, and then you got to think about what do I lift up to, to free, to find, your wizard. To find my oh, wizard, my or do I let other opponents have their wizards back? It is a chaotic, cool, fun Take that game, and I love it. I and, love and it. We already have it, so we don't have to. Yes, we it. already we have, have it. it. And uh, <laughs> we just we, haven't played Capstone, it. you know, thank you so much for that. So we have, we're going to play it. Yeah. We are, it's going to be so much fun. I'll tell you, it's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be fun. But now the thing is, is that, you know, it's it's so much fun. It's so quick. Oh. It is not long at all. I mean, we played like about three, like, I think we played like about three games yeah. in less than an hour. Oh, wow. Less than an hour. I mean, just like. Boom, boom, boom.
boom. It was just quick. I love it. That's why I love it. All right, everybody. Those yes. are the games yes. we played yes. at Cardboard Caucus. Yes. There were 10 of them. Ten. And as you can see, Mick played some games without me, and I played games without him. Yes. And then we played games together. Yes, we did. But we had so much fun at Cardboard Caucus. This is the third year they've invited us to come out, and we love going yes. every year. Lots of fun. We really appreciate them, you know, appreciating we do, us. We do. We do. We, do. we do appreciate them so yeah, much. Thank do. you so much. So that's it for the heart of the episode. Yes. So, Mick, what did we get? Woo! Yay. Let's look at the phone. All right. So here we go. All right. So this is my kind of mini haul from Cardboard Caucus. Mm. Stalin didn't want me to do it, but I did it. Because Matt from Board Game Wagon was having a little sale, so I had to partake. Yeah. Now, first thing, I didn't, I'm not gonna show you all the mats. I got a lot of mats from the Tiny Epic Games yes. that he had available. I got like about six mats mm -hmm. for games play that mats, I already have, yeah, play, play mats, mats that I already have, so I got those, and that was pretty cool. Now, yeah. the next thing I got <laughs> was the games. Now, he was giving away the deluxe copy of the box from museum mm -hmm. from well see here we go star okay now and what's on oh this is all museum this is all museum okay because the holy grail uh -huh. holy grail games is gone away okay because remember last time i got a uh, rally man gt okay because holy grail games is gone forever. Mm. So I went ahead and got Museum mm -hmm. Deluxe Edition, and then they have the Curator Pack, okay. second edition. Okay. The second edition. And then also the Chihulu, what was that? Chihulu. Yeah, the Cthulhu Relics, yeah. second edition. Okay. I got that. So I'm going to take this and put it here. Because I think this is the second edition, because okay. I have the first edition, but, you know, base game, but now I have the second edition. Okay. Yeah, there we go. See so, yeah. Because the, the company went away. Okay, yeah. that's that's why I got it. Because the company's gone. There I, you go. I, company's I got gone. it. Yeah. Now my <laughs> next one, I saw it. It's pretty inexpensive. Now mm -hmm. we love yeah, these this games. This was a purchase. Yeah, this is a purchase. Ticket to Ride Berlin. It's the latest in the yeah. small yeah. city games okay. collection. Yes, and this is Berlin. He knew I wouldn't say no to this. No, she knew she's <laughs> she not going to say no. You know, it was like 20-something bucks. He's not, I'm not going to say well, no. But we got it from a local, you know, game, a comics and game store in, in Des, Des Moines, Moines. Yeah, Des Moines called Mayhem. Hey, yeah. Mayhem, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. And we met the owner, real nice guy. Yeah, he had a booth next to our table. Yes, and so I always yeah. like to support, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, a friendly neighborhood game stores. Mm -hmm. So I got it. But it's, uh, you know, Ticket to Ride Berlin. It has some kind of a new gimmick on here uh -huh. <laughs> that looks pretty neat so we're going to try it out of course yes you're going to try it I out i love the ticket to ride yeah, box game yeah love and that's it. berlin now love. we're in berlin <laughs> all right so matt had another game that he was giving away and i saw it now i know i think uh you know Dwayne really likes this game from blackboard gaming and also nick and mike from the brothers murph now was he giving this game away or were, or were you purchasing the game what what happened i was purchasing because you keep saying giveaway like he just handed no it no over. yeah i purchased it yeah okay. I, I, purchased. He was, I, I just wanted to clarify he was he was, uh, he was selling games selling games selling okay. yeah i just wanted yes to clarify. and i saw it mm -hmm. and i wanted to you get had it. To have it had yeah. to have it it's castile yeah. It's Castile, and yeah. and it's where you're, you're building up people, like, the, you know, with yeah. the Castile, they build up, you know, people climbing on each other, you know, they climbing up on each other, okay. the, the, and you're doing that, okay. you know, Castile variant, you know, so it's the human tower, they do the human okay. tower, so I heard a lot of people like this game, you know, the Brothers yeah. Murph, and I think Dwayne really likes it a lot from, you, uh, you, you know, Blackboard. It. You know, yeah, blackboard gaming. gaming. Yeah, black, yeah, so yeah. they like it a lot. So I wanted to get it because yeah. I saw it. So it's y'all fault. It's, it's, it's their fault. It's their fault. Ooh. It's their fault. It's y'all fault. You guys should feel the bus hitting you right yes, now, it's Dwayne their fault. and the uh, brothers Murray. Yes, it's their fault because the they said you. it was good and I wanted yeah, to get it. The bus it. just hit All you. Right, so the last one. <laughs> They have a y'all know about the garage sales they have at cons and stuff, flea markets and all that stuff. So I saw this one game that I've heard a lot of good things for it. It's a little expensive because you know it's on that expensive side, but I, I was able to negotiate with some very lovely people at Carbon Caucus, and I got it at a lower price. Yes, I did, and it's um. 
a very heavy game is John Company uh -huh. Second Edition. Yeah. John Company Second Edition. I've seen it played around, and it says, "What do you want to do to the one of the most powerful corporations that was ever built? That's the East India Company. Uh -huh. I want to destroy it because you can either build it up or destroy it. I want to destroy it, so I want to try it out okay. and make my own, you know, make it a nice one. Now, make it a nice I, one. I just want to. It's heavy. I, it is heavy. It's, it's a lot. It's of heavy. I can see going on, but I, I just want to have a quick discussion. What's that? What's the discussion um, about? What? What? What, what, discussion? what reason would you have? What? what to go to a flea market? Yes, why? I, I don't understand What's why wrong? you would be lurking around I was just flea around. markets I was trying to around. find things we don't need. I, I just, it just, it just caught my eye. It caught my eye. But it wouldn't eye. have caught your eye if you hadn't put yourself at the flea market. But I, but I just wanted to see what they had. Mm. You know, I just want to. And if you see what they had. I was reporting. I was being, I was reporting. <laughs> oh, I was oh, reporting. You're being, I was being media. media. Okay. I was media, just looking, mm -hmm. saying, you know, reporting on what they had mm -hmm. at the, at, you know, at the flea market on garage sale, yeah. and then, oh, and then you, when you were reporting, company. one of these games just jumped up and said, "Hey, it bit me." And, and John Company bit me. Right. It bit me. Okay, I, I, I will let that go. So, so it bit me, family. What else do we have? Okay, so we got some games from Borden Dice, our sponsor for RPG Voices. Yes. Yeah, hey, Borden Dice. <laughs> and it's some of their from Escape Games. Now, I saw mm. this. This is already in some game stores already. And it's uh, it's called Side Quest mm. Seventh, Seventh C. Mm. And it's like Escape Games yeah. in a Box. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Escape Games. It's Escape Games in a Box. And this is the Seventh, seventh C. So I guess you oh, got it. It's called, nice. Yeah, developed by Lock Me. Oh, I don't okay. even like that. Lock me up, you know. Lock me, you Boy, know. Nice. And then the next one is is uh, Side Quest Nemesis. Now Nemesis mm. is a board game out there yeah. that's basically alien yeah. on the board, mm -hmm. you know. And I've seen it. It's, it's really cool. Uh, one of these days I want to play it, Nemesis, and also have it on Steam yeah. uh, as a video game. And so he, here it is, where you got to skate. From somewhere, Nemesis. I guess you're escaping from them aliens that's coming Probably at you. So. But this is another escape room in from a box. From Board and Dice. Yes, from Board and Dice. Thank Nemesis. you so much, Board and Dice. <laughs> now, we also have a little company. Uh, what is this called? What is it called? <laughs> I don't know, but I guess they're called from what their box is Kids Create Absurdity. Mm. Kids create absurdity, and they sent it to us. We're gonna try it out, see what's up. It's a super fun family card game. They say with crazy questions and ridiculous answers. Hmm. So if it's got kids create absurdity, <laughs> uh, what is that? Absurdity? Yeah, absurdity. Yes, absurdity. it's gonna be crazy. It is gonna be crazy. We already know it's gonna yeah, be crazy. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much for sending that. Yes. And that is all I have. All right. Yes. So Starla. Where can they find RPG, you know, RPG and RPG voices? Where can they find us so they can talk about us? Well, if you're looking for Our Family Plays Game, yes. R O F P G Voices, yes. you can find us on Facebook, uh -huh. Instagram, yes. Twitter, yep. right here on YouTube. Right here. And TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. Yeah. And if you're in Omaha, Nebraska. Family, that is local all day long. <laughs> you can find us on Cox Channel 22. Yes. Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. Uh -huh. And Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. All right, family. Thank you so much for coming out and checking us out as we talk about Cardboard Caucus. <laughs> we had a great time in Des Moines Hour. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. But hey, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. We always love talking to you and hearing about it. But family, there is one thing. One thing we want you to always know. We love you. Bye, Bye now. Everybody.